Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jurocroft and we are finally back for yet another crazy and exciting video where I'm going to attempt to single-handedly build the world's tallest, largest and most legendary tower ever built in the entire existence of the universe. Now you may already know that I previously built the world's tallest tower over five years ago and I have been getting countless requests for a new tower to be constructed. At the end of the day this build is very outdated and Mojang actually increased the build height. Now I'm definitely not about to let anyone just take away this record so say goodbye to this old flimsy looking tower and say hello to this brand new epic Minecraft adventure. Now of course the very first thing we have to do is create a new Minecraft world using the data pack Terralift because as you know they have some pretty insane looking landscapes. Within just 5 minutes of searching I found the perfect place to start building. It all started with some very basic terraforming just to tidy everything up. But honestly all of this was utterly pointless because I soon decided to do a bit of an experiment and open the project up on World Painter where I basically isolated the entire landmass into a single island. Now of course this took many many hours of work but eventually I was able to progress from a simple stone island to a huge volcanic themed peninsula covered in a wasteland of lava style terrain. I was then able to use World Painter to create a fake sky ceiling allowing me to generate some incredible looking rock formations. You might recall this technique from my subscriber getting scammed video which has now surpassed over 14 million views which by the way is absolutely insane. So now we need to actually enhance the landscape. Typically I would just start by adding some trees but that obviously wouldn't make sense. This is a lava wasteland. So instead I've decided to create some colossal looking redstone spikes to cover the entire landscape. All while implementing custom rocks, winding paths and gigantic lava falls cascading down into the valley below. Now despite spending countless hours building this outrageously over the top landscape it was definitely worth the extra effort. Aside from the gigantic spikes, rocks and all the other extras I also added plenty of campfires around the edges of the map to create the effect of hydrovolcanism. <laughs> Here's me learning volcanology for a Minecraft build. I mean who said gaming wasn't educational? Shame on you. Ugh. But with the landscape finally complete of course we have to create a display room for the actual map to see exactly what we're working with. So I built a small entrance into the mountain off to the side and decorated the interior. Then basically wasted 3 hours of my life flying across the entire project collecting all the maps and finally putting together this gigantic jigsaw puzzle which by the way was an absolute pain. Now there are two key points that we're going to be working on. The first of course is the bedrock level crater where the tower will be located and the second is the main entrance into this lava wasteland which leads out into the open world. Now to be honest I was never planning on building any of this stuff but the entrance does look a little tacky so I basically terraformed the entire landscape yet again adding some unique rock formations and preparing myself for the construction of a massive reinforced gate. We are literally back to Jerocraft roots with this one and if you're an OG subscriber then all I have to say is chains, spikes and fire pots. That's pretty much what this entire channel was built on. But honestly I really love this evil looking gateway, heavily detailed and marking the entrance into these treacherous looking landscapes that will gradually lead up towards the main tower. I've also built a fancy looking walkway as well as some bridges to finally connect the path to the main crater. Now I am trying to use my own imagination here but we're also taking inspiration from Lord of the Rings and of course World of Warcraft, specifically the Tower of Torghast which features a lot of creepy, dark, evil looking designs and as you can tell a lot of chains. 
Now there is just one more thing I wanted to do before we start working on this massive crater. So I basically borrowed the obelisk design from my MMORPG survival world and imported it into the map just to get a bit of practice with this new style. And by the way, I'm using a ton of crimson hyphae for the details. I mean, the red and black tones are just amazing for this kind of theme. And this makes for a pretty nice addition to the main entrance. So I also tried adding some dead trees to the landscape, but I wasn't really too happy with the idea. So we're just going to stick with adding plenty of dead coral plants to at least give the landscape a bit of vegetation. Even though, you know, everything's dead. I'm sorry, Greta. How dare you! So finally, we can test out just how tall this build is going to be, but I've run into a couple of issues. First, the crater is apparently still too small for my liking, which will possibly make the tower look too narrow. And the landscape is also cutting the view of the tower practically in half. So the first thing I did was actually lower the terrain slightly and make the crater even bigger. And I swear this next step took a ton of calculations. So to put it simply, I created a copy of the entire world map and inverted the crater to create a yellow terracotta mountain. Then we can use a single unedited chunk as reference to copy and paste the mountain exactly into the original map. Now all we have to do is remove the yellow terracotta and customize the rest of the crater by hand, creating this absolutely absurd looking cave opening, filled with lava and plenty of cave features. Now I know it's a drastic change, but trust me, this tower required a bigger crater. Now the first step to actually building this colossal tower is going to have to be the basic framework. Honestly, if you want to build a tower yourself, you don't have to complicate your life. You know, just start with a single block type and start making some basic shapes, all while taking measurements to make sure the tower is perfectly symmetrical. And if you want to make your life even easier, all you have to do is design a single corner of the build and then simply rotate that design onto each corner of the tower. Of course, once you're happy with the initial framework, that's when the challenging and time-consuming detailing starts to kick in. And I swear to you, this took so many hours to complete. I have never, ever detailed a structure of this magnitude before. And just to give you a size comparison, just take a look at the old tower compared to this monstrosity. And it's not just the size of the tower that's ridiculous, but the fact that we have already reached the old max build height, and yet we still have a really long way to go. Now as you know, I don't usually bother too much when it comes to building interiors, but the fact is we might actually use this build on the server, possibly as a tower climbing challenge. So I do want to make sure that the interiors are at least aesthetically pleasing, so that the developers can hopefully implement this build as a new addition to the MMORPG survival world. The server IP is mc.jerocraft.net, and while you're at it, you might want to consider joining the Discord server, which has a flourishing community filled with a ton of epic content. So we are now halfway up this colossal madness of a build and I think this is a good place to finally connect the tower to the rest of the map, building a bridge and decorative terrace that will finally grant access towards the tower. I've also built some giant skull banners on either side of the terrace just as an extra added bonus. I then continued detailing every single inch of this tower, building some fancy looking extrusions to give the tower some more complexity and variation, but you know, also to satisfy my proclivity to building excessive amounts of fire pots and chains. But finally, I connected the chains to some smaller towers on each corner of the build. And honestly, I'm trying to be humble here, but this is looking absolutely incredible. So much so that this could very well be my favorite build in the entire history of this channel. At this point, I was almost completely exhausted from over three months of work, but seeing this progress come together so ambitiously, I was just determined to make the top segment of the tower as eye-catching as possible. Of course, building some massive spikes in true Isengard sort of fashion. I was really happy with the initial framework, so I proceeded to detail the rest of this build in an almost evil, vampiric kind of style. To finish off the tower and finally reach the new max build height, I decided to introduce a giant levitating redstone crystal for, I don't know, maybe just to extract life from all living organisms. That's the, that's the job. <laughs> Sorry, Greta. How dare you! 
It is honestly truly impossible to capture the true scale of this build on video, but finally after months and months of work, I accidentally cracked my head open on some bricks and updated the map with the finished design. With that, I can now proudly present to you the world's largest, tallest and most epic tower ever built in the history of Minecraft. You can download this project over on www.jerocraft.net or by becoming a Patreon. Thank you guys for watching and why on earth are you not subscribed? How dare you!